Man, that sleet stings. It's a cold and wet day today. Unfortunately, we can't postpone this. This whole fence here, we need to be able to take the electric um, side off of it because this is constantly shorting out. So what we're gonna do is we'll pull that mineral tub up front and then we'll be able to shut that gate off then we'll come through here and take all of this temporary fence down. We've got to cut this fence down anyway because we've got to run a driveway through here. So we've got the mineral tub over here. The next thing we need to do is shut this fence off, climb through here, and then go around this pasture right here twice. Um, we've got this electric strand running through here twice, and then I've got to pull all the posts up with it. I know a lot of people use these, but I don't care for them. I've used them for a number of years. I've had enough half hassle with them, them getting tangled up that kind of over it. I like permanent fences a lot better. I know these work in good scenarios, certain scenarios, but they're kind of frustrating. Sometimes these wires get caught up in this clip. Depending upon what side the clip you put it in it makes it really hard for the wires to get back out. I 
had to wrap it around these posts quite a bit earlier this summer because when this wire gets hot just the uh, ambient temperature it will stretch and then when it gets cold it retracts right now it's all wrapped around here which is making undoing this fence take at least twice as long if not longer beginning to feel a little miserable the wind and the rain are picking up there's a little bit of sleep mixed in which kind of stings the ears those conditions changed pretty quick sleeting it covered the ground really fast we still got to go through and I've got to pull all of those posts man it's just miserable out here right now really windy rainy sleet um, I wish I had a cowboy hat right now. Couldn't find mine, I don't know where it went. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my daughter drive the truck, and then I'm gonna go through and pull posts. Uh, that way we can get this done today. All you basically have to do is put it in drive, and every once in a while you'll probably have to give it some gas. Just keep an eye on me, and we'll walk right behind you. They come up pretty easy. What a day. I would say three essentials for doing work like this out on a ranch. One would be waterproof boots. Two would be a good rain jacket. Three would be a good cowboy hat, which I am lacking. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers, right? This is great driving experience for my daughter in a wide open field that the only thing that she can really hurt is going through the fence, <laughs> which I don't think she will, but it's a good driving experience for her, that's for sure. Wolf likes the rain though, and sleet. The sleet is letting up, but now it's kind of turning back to rain again, which makes your head pretty cold when your hat is freezing to it. <laughs> the old saying of, you're gonna catch a cold, kind of feels like I just might. Man, that sleet stings. S switching back to sleet again. It's like sleet, rain, sleet, rain. It's awful pretty out, but man, rough conditions to be working in this. The life of a bison rancher, right? You might think I'm crazy, and maybe I am, but I can still say I love winter, and I would rather this than 100 degree heat and humidity. I'll take this any day. I can almost taste victory. I think we have about three more posts left. Last post. Woohoo! Now that we've taken this field off, um, that field should be hot. So let's go find out. That's what we're looking for right there. That red light blinking. So that means this whole fence is hot. So this whole fence now is offline. Um, no more electric fence in it. 
All we have is barbed wire. We can start tearing that down. That's gonna be the next project. And this fence is in good shape. And as you can see, the bison are on that side there. So we're looking good. What do you think there, Wolf? No, stay out. I wish you guys could see my camera. It is one giant ice ball. Surprised it's staying running. These guys look happy. Shaking the ice off. They love weather like this. I don't know why. Maybe their hair is really thick. Their hide is really thick. They stay really warm, but whatever it is, they, they love this type of weather. Weather. They say that bison are believed to not burn fat until it's like 30 below. Really crazy. They love it like this. All their hair is all matted down. I wonder if we're gonna get any snow. A lot of sleep. Uh, surprisingly, like all this white that you can see here, it's not snow at all. It's all sleep, just ice balls. Let's see if I can pick some up and show you. It's all ice balls, like miniature hail, essentially. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I did. We'll see you guys next time.